He just kept denying it. He was lying to my face. I mean, I saw the DMs, so I knew he was lying. He's been lying to me for months now. And the more he denied it, the more it hurt me because it fucking hurts when someone decides you're no longer enough for them. I spent hours being anxious, thinking about how I could make him happy, how I could please him, how I could relieve him of the stress. But it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough on those nights and afternoons and some mornings, apparently. Anyway, he kept saying he didn't know what I was talking about. So, what did you do? I left the flat. To do what? To buy a cranberry and brie baguette. So, I walked to James's cafe and bought a cranberry and brie baguette. Oh, I love James's. Mm. Yeah, the food. And their china's beautiful. Was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat in? No, I came home. With your sandwich? Yes, with my sandwich. I walked into the living room. OK. And he still sat there in the same spot. So I walked into the kitchen to cut my baguette in half. They are quite big baguettes. Too big. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway. He came into the kitchen and asked me if I had calmed down. What? 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 Well? Well, I took the knife that was in my hand and stabbed him in the chest. Jesus, why would you do that? Because you told me to. Oh, yes, that's right. Was the brie and cranberry spread evenly on both sides? Oh, of course. It's from James's Cafe. Shoop, 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 Shine. There with our eyes, such a beauty.